Hey guys, welcome back um, to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Halloween, storage, de decoration, costumes, all that stuff. And I'll show you what we're working with today. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. That big giant tub here. I don't know if you can see it all that well. Some stuff. Some stuff there. That's what we got. So I'll just kind of go through it, give you some tips. Um, I guess we'll start with some tips before we go through it. Um, the first thing is, if you have costumes that doesn't fit anyone in your family, like kids, you don't have any, it's like a toddler, something for like a two-year-old, and your kids are like seven, eight, nine, five, eight, whatever, um, go ahead and see if you can give them to someone that has a child that fits in that or just donate it, give it to someone, whatever. Even with adult costumes, if you don't like it, you're not going to wear it again. It didn't fit right, just get rid of it. Now, the only thing really I don't have up here is a costume that I bought that I'm probably going to return if I remember to return it within the time frame. But, um, but that's up in my car. Um, but yeah, um, look for broken decorations, things with missing pieces, stuff like that, etc. But let's get into this giant, um, if I can get you propped right, giant pile. So, the first thing is, is this hat. Hat. Which I'm probably just going to keep because it was $6 to return this. And it was only like $12. It was like $7 to return. I don't think it's returned to return like a $12 hat. So we're just going to keep that, but I'm going to set that aside. So then the next thing is we have these little gravestone th stone thingies, yard decor. They have the things. We're going to set that aside to put those in the box later. I have enough space for everything, but we'll throw away that bag and use that for trash. We have this ghost thingy decoration that we had hanging up. I think I have his box still if we can get him to fit. But his box is kind of hidden here. Um, but we'll set him there. The next thing is, oh, this is another thing. Um, go through your pumpkin carving stuff. Um, if your, your things, like these knives things are broken or they're just like, you have too many, you can donate stuff. But yeah. Um, the next thing is, I have this 80s mullet thing. I already put it back in its, um, it, in the bag or the, the container. But with these things, if you still have the, like the original package, you can do one of two things. You can try to sell it next year or just keep it. But try to put, put the things back in the original package if you have it. The next thing is, is these 80s accessories, bright neon colors. I put them just in this bag. It took me like two, maybe a minute to put them in there. But yeah, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this box so we can start organizing. We have this little mermaid skeleton here. Oh, I guess he, I guess he doesn't work anymore. He needs new batteries. Or she needs new batteries. We have a big giant gravestone. We have this inflatable thing, which I need to get out of the way. We have a gravestone. Um, okay, so here's the box, uh, box to that floating ghost thing. It says floating ghost spirit on the bat box. Let's see if we can get them in there real quick. But this is real time, guys. I'm showing you this. I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do that time lapse thing. Oh, he's not going to fit. So we're going to toss this box. Set this aside. Um, for later. We have this thing. What is this thing? A little decoration that we could probably put on the door, but 
we're not gonna worry about that right now um we have a survivor buff thingy okay we have a little trick-or-treat bucket to put hand out candy with oh and here's another thing go through your if you hand out candy go through your like containers and your buckets that you hand out candy in maybe you have too many maybe some are broken maybe you need just need to get have too many get rid of a few that's fine i have like oh there's two other ones that i could probably go get real quick but i have one upstairs that i'm probably going to get rid of but yeah um so there's that i thought i heard a cat um i have a bag um another sign or gravestone some spooky decorations let's see what's in here wheels these don't belong in there so we'll set these aside um, this is kind of this is what i'm talking about guys this needs to go so we'll set this with the trash over here Okay, we have a little purse thingy, hippie's purse. Kind of cute. Um, okay, a skull, some necklaces, um, some more pumpkin carving stuff. Okay, so almost done here, guys. Um, more pumpkin carving stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do here is put this inflatable thingy down first in the bag. There we go. And then we're going to find the ghost. put the decoration kind of down by the side here put the the floating ghost okay uh, well that didn't really go as planned uh, uh, new plan this took up like half the box my container okay so what we're gonna do is I have the box for this guy over here. We're gonna try to put, we're gonna put those, that in the box later. Um, but yeah. Um, but another thing, if you have these container thingies, try to put stuff in it when you're putting things away. But we're going to try to stand these up along the edge here. I'm going to put this in the bottom. What? Why not? The purse, the buff. We'll put the hat. We'll wait on the hat, I guess. I guess I can move the hat real quick. We're putting this along the edge, so it's kind of flat. We'll put these kind of along the edge. If I can get them to my hands door. Okay. Another tool so we know where they are. Another grave, the bag. Gravestone. We'll shove the back in there. The beads, the head. What else? Am I missing nothing? Okay. And then we have just this gravestone. We'll put kind of 
it doesn't really fit so we'll leave it on top since I don't have the lid this also right here so I know where it is find a bag or something like that I have flamingo bones here that don't really fit either so let's see we'll put him here if I can get this inflatable thing back in its box real quick so we know where it is for next year kind of fits but yeah so there we go it didn't take me too long to get everything organized and weed out the trash and stuff that doesn't belong but yeah so it's not going to take you all day you can do it in shifts i did collected everything yesterday it took me less than five minutes yesterday it probably took me less than 10 minutes today to figure everything out so yeah you just want to make sure that you have everything organized and stuff like that for next year so you can buy, find it and reduce clutter and you know where everything's at so you don't buy duplicates i hope this helps you out guys have a great day